hot. I'm like sweating. Like, it's, it's bad. Y estamos de regreso con ustedes aquí en KBBF 89.1 FM, Radio Cultura, Radio Comunidad. We're back with you here on KBBF 89.1 FM. And again, my name is Rafael Vasquez. This is your show, Líderes del Futuro. And I have the privilege and opportunity today to have a forum with two candidates who will be, who are running. Um, Ms. Uh, Jenny Close is running for re-election at uh, Santa Rosa City Schools. And Mr. Ever Flores is running to, again, uh, running for the same uh, seat at Santa Rosa City Schools. Um, and so today we agreed that we are going to follow the, the, the following procedure, which is each candidate will take two minutes to do a brief introduction before I start with questions. I want to make it also as clear as possible. Neither of the candidates has seen any of the questions. And so I am the only one who has access to those questions and that needs to be clear. And then um, the last item I will mention here is Ms. Jenny Close has agreed that um, I will do the translation from English to Spanish to her answers to my questions. Uh, entonces, buenas tardes a todos y todas ustedes. Este es su programa Líderes del Futuro. Esta es la segunda hora. Mi nombre es Rafael Vázquez y el día de hoy tengo el privilegio de tener a la señorita Jen Close o Jenny Close quien es una persona que está en la mesa directiva del de Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa. Y también tengo a el um, consejero Ever Flores, quien es una persona que está uh, tratando de obtener esa posición en el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa. Las reglas son básicas uh, en este foro. No es un debate, que quiero clarificar eso. Es una conversación, entonces yo voy a hacer las preguntas, nadie ha visto las preguntas que voy a hacer y uh, lo, vamos a empezar con ambos, ambas van a tener dos minutos para hacer una introducción breve de quiénes son y con el tiempo vamos a conocerles un poquito más. Y en la nota final es que la señorita Jenny Close me ha, uh, está de acuerdo con que yo haga la, la traducción de inglés a español a las respuestas que voy a preguntar. And so with that, uh, we are going to get started. And the, the way that I, I usually do it is I go either by first name or last name. And the, I see that ever you are going to go first, just because your first name starts with the E. And even if we started with the last name, your uh, last name starts with the F. All right, so ever uh, you are going to have uh, two minutes uh, to say in English and then in Spanish, um, just a brief introduction about who you are. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you, Rafa, and thank you, KBBF, for having us both here uh, to, uh, to hear our um, issues and our ideas as to what um, uh, San Jose City Schools should look like in the near future and in the future after that. So, um, my name is Harry Flores. I'm a school counselor up in Healdsburg. I've been a school counselor for the last 20 plus years. I've also worked at the uh, Santa Rosa Junior College um, Migrant Ed Program, uh, running the uh, summer school program uh, called Adelante, where we bus about 300 kids uh, whose parents are migrant farm workers uh, to make sure that they receive uh, courses in um, college prep courses or, really, or, or courses that they need for graduation. So uh, I've also, I'm also a graduate from, you know, I'm also an immigrant. I, I came from El Salvador back in the 1980s at the height of my country's uh, civil war. Uh, and I went to school in San Francisco in the heart of the Mission District. I, you know, graduated from Mission High School and then attended Sonoma State and I got my bachelor's and my master's degree. And then I went to UC Berkeley for a certification of uh, college and career counseling. So I, 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 I I see myself as someone who's been you know, part of this community for, for a very long time, and I look forward to serving on the board to make sure that we implement policies that are both inclusive and uh, well thought out. Buenas tardes este, a todos. Antes que nada, les quiero dar este, bueno, este, las gracias por tenerme aquí a KBDF. Este, como dijo Rafael, yo me llamo Ever Flores, soy un consejero escolar 
a un orientador escolar, se puede decir, ¿verdad? De la eh, preparatoria de Hillsburg. He sido consejero por los últimos 20 años. Uh, he trabajado como director del programa de Adelante, donde este, trabajo con estudiantes de, de uh, migrantes, los cuales papás trabajan en hostiles, ¿verdad? Y, y les ayudamos a los estudiantes para que saquen sus calificaciones o sus créditos básicos para que se puedan graduar. Ah, también soy un inmigrante del Salvador, que sí, allí en los 70 y los 80, y eh, me integré a este país este, por, por la guerra que pasaba en El Salvador, y en los años 80 y que terminó en el 92. Ah, llegué aquí en el, en el 87, fui a escuela en San Francisco, allí en la misión, y fui, fui a la Universidad Estatal de Sonoma, donde me gradué con mi licenciatura y con maestría. Y después fui a la Universidad este, de California de Berkeley para, hacer, para recibir este, un certificado de, 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 de consejería. Ah, me da mucho gusto y espero que en, en, en un futuro muy cercano tengamos la oportunidad de, de tener una mesa directiva la cual sea este, sistemática en la manera en que implementa las, las políticas educativas para todos los estudiantes del del, del, uh, del Distrito Escolar de Junta Rosa. Muchísimas gracias, Rafa. Ok, en, ahí tiene la introducción de Ever Flores, una vez más, uno de los candidatos. There you had the in, brief introduction of Ever Flores, one of the two candidates. And now, Jenny, whenever you are ready. Thank you, Rafael. I'm, I'm grateful to be here on KDDF again. I always love... Um, coming here and, and, and talking to your listeners and I appreciate uh, you providing uh, translation for me as well. Um, I'm Jenny Close and I am running for re-election uh, for school board. I um, have served two terms on Santa Rosa School Board, um, eight years total. Um, I'm the longest serving board member currently on the board. And um, you know, the first time people run for office, um, they run usually because they're mad about something. And that was true for me too. I was, I was mad about the closure of Doyle Park School. Um, and I, I felt like that was a mistake. Um, and, uh, and then when I ran for reelection, uh, the first time it was because I was happy about the progress we were being, we were making, um, for students, um, and, and particularly our, our students of color, um, in our disciplinary policies and our curriculum policies. And then this, this next time that I'm running for reelection, um, it's because I want to continue that good work and because we are facing some pretty important, um, decisions and, uh, and some challenging times. And I think it is, uh, it's important to have a voice of experience on the board. Um, I'm kind of twice as experienced as the next experienced board member. And so um, I think that institutional memory is important. You know, I served for three years as board president um, uh, during floods and fires. And, and, um, and, and during that time, uh, I gained some experience, but I also really relied on the experience of, of longer serving board members. Um, uh, and, and so I understand the, um, the importance of that institutional memory and an experience. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to continuing doing the good work we're doing for students um, in equity for, for supporting teachers and, and uh, classified workers in, uh, in their efforts to be uh, supported in the tough work that they do and, and to really being uh, it, of assistance in the uh, innovative kind of uh, thinking we need to do uh, in order to get through this uh, challenging pandemic uh, the best we possibly can. Thank you. Entonces, una vez más, esta es la introducción de la señorita Jenny Close y dice, estoy agradecida de que puedo estar aquí una vez más contigo en KBBF. Siempre he tenido, he eh, estado apreciada porque tengo el placer de venir aquí a representar a el distrito, dice, y estoy en una posición de que quiero ser reelegida a la mesa directiva de Santa Rosa City Schools, dice, uh, yo soy una persona que ya, he ter ya estoy terminando dos términos o ocho años en total en la mesa directiva. En estos momentos soy la persona que ha estado más tiempo en la mesa directiva en, en la ciudad, el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa, dice, como muchas personas, muchas personas que quieren estar en la mesa directiva, quieren estar ahí porque están enojados o enojadas acerca de algo. Dice, esa fui yo. Yo estaba enojada de que estaban cerrando la escuela Doyle. Y dice, 
De ahí busqué la reelección porque estaba yo feliz por el progreso que habíamos hecho para los estudiantes de uh, color en esa situación, dice. Y dice, ahora quiero ser reelegida una vez más para continuar el trabajo positivo que hemos hecho. Y ahorita mismo también eh, tenemos que reconocer que se van a tener que hacer unas decisiones serias porque estos tiempos son un poco difíciles. Dice, yo soy una persona con experiencia. Dice, ahorita tengo dos veces más experiencia que el siguiente miembro de la mesa directiva. Y quiero continuar el trabajo para apoyar a la institución, a los maestros, maestras, a las personas clasificadas que trabajan en el distrito. Y estos van a ser tiempos donde vamos a tener que pensar acerca de las dificultades que vamos a ver muy pronto. And with that, I would like to ask the first question. And since ever you went first for the introduction, the first question goes uh, to Jenny. That way there is that equitable um, access to those questions. And so Jenny, again, what drives you to want to continue the work um, with Santa Rosa City School? Um, well, and, and I'm sorry, I, I should say for every one of the questions, you will also have two minutes to answer each question. Great. Thank you um, for that. Um, yeah, so I will, um, I will uh, kind of expand on, on what I said in my introduction is that, um, first of all, you know, education, I, I'm passionate about it and I'm passionate about our district. I grew up in our district. I went to Brook Hill and Slater and Montgomery High School and um, I have a little sister who teaches in the district and spent some time volunteering there um, over the years. And, um, and, and, and I think it's really critical to the health of our community. I think that you know, public education is really the cornerstone of our democracy. And it is, um, it's, it's the biggest launching pad um, for, uh, for students and, and for um, from improving, improving someone's station in life and, and, and really um, being able to uh, achieve their green, dreams. And so it, it's a passion of mine um, and has been for a long time. Um, and I think we've done some really good work while I've been on the board. Um, and, and I wanna make sure that we continue in that path. We have a really great governance team right now, a governance team of, of seven board members plus a superintendent that work together really well. And re even when we disagree, uh, we do it respectfully. And that means that we get a lot of work done. Um, and I've been on boards that, that have not been as, um, as well-functioning as ours. Um, and and when, when you're not as well-functioning, it hurts students um, and it hurts staff uh, because you're distracted by that. Um, and so I wanna continue this governance team so that we can keep doing good work. And, and we are so focused on equity. Um, and I think that is really critical right now. We have great educational disparities in our community. Um, where low-income students and students of color are are not getting the same opportunities and not achieving as well as their white counterparts. And that's because I think of structural uh, problems. And um, we have been working hard in the past few years to implement um, programs and supports uh, and, and, and eliminating barriers to make sure that we can improve um, that performance. And I want to continue that good work with this team. Thank you. Entonces, le pregunto, ¿qué es lo que le llama tanto la atención para continuar uh, sirviendo en la mesa directiva? Dice, me gustaría expander un poquito más en lo que dije en mi introducción. Dice, yo tengo una pasión uh, muy grande uh, para el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa. Yo asistí a la escuela Brook Hill, a la escuela Slater y a la escuela Montgomery, dice. Y tengo una hermana quien es una maestra en este mismo distrito. Dice, para mí, yo veo la educación pública como una cosa esencial para que un lugar para donde los estudiantes puedan empezar su educación para que puedan llegar a sus sueños. Dice, entonces, para mí, dice, una vez más, yo quiero trabajar y continuar el buen trabajo, el trabajo positivo que hemos hecho en el distrito dice, en estos momentos tenemos un grupo de la mesa directiva que trabajamos muy bien. Somos siete más la superintendente y cuando de todos modos estamos en desacuerdo de vez en cuando, 
sabemos cómo funcionar. Sabemos que cuando la gente no quiere trabajar, entonces hay un, un problema muy grande, dice, porque las cosas no funcionan. Dice, entonces nosotros, nosotras nos enfocamos en la equidad. Lo que sabemos es que todavía hay problemas donde estudiantes de color no reciben los mismos uh, apoyos que la gente anglosajona, dice. Esos son problemas estructurales y en los pasados años, hemos, dos años, hemos estado creando nuevos programas para proveer este tipo de apoyo a los las estudiantes y quiero continuar ese trabajo. And so, ever, uh, again, the same question, what drives you to want to be in the Santa Rosa City Schools Board? Well, what drives me is that You know, I should be dead somewhere in the ditch. You know, I'm a first generation college, you know, bound student. I came from a war torn country back in the 80s, uh, fleeing, you know, a. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a little bit hard to hear you. Right. Uh, is that better? It's a little bit better. It just kind of goes up and down. Yeah, down. I, it's, it's my. It's my um, okay. Is that. I can hear you I, now. Yeah, I, I heard this before uh, from, from another meeting. But anyway, um, so uh, the, the, what drives me is that I am an immigrant. I should not be here. Statistically speaking, I should be dead somewhere in a ditch. Uh, I come from a country where, where you know, uh, two factions, you know, a, a, a U.S. supported, you know, government versus, you know, a, a grassroots uh, guerrilla movement. We're fighting each other. And, and, and I know exactly what war looks like, and, and, and I know, you know what it takes to, to work collaboratively with people, and I know that there's been policies um, put into place that uh, were very well-meaning, uh, and yet had some detrimental um, you know, um, consequences. I, I think it's important to have the voice of a Uh, immigrant on, on the board to make sure that, you know, the voice of those immigrant students who are uh, in the Santa Rosa City Schools uh, feel heard. Uh, and it's, it's one of those things that you, you need to look at yourself at, uh, in other positions to see if you're reflected in that position. Uh, and I'm running for those students. I'm also running because education is what I do. You know, I Instead of, you know, going on vacation during my summers, I dedicate every single summer working with my youth to make sure that, you know, they are either college or high school ready or career ready after they finish high school. I dedicate day in and day out, and, and this is what, I, what I've done. I am not running because I am, you know, trying to get rid of someone. I'm running because I believe I'm the best person for this job. And I believe that, you know, it's, it's important to have inclusivity. It's important to have, you know, diversity. It's important for students to see themselves uh, mirror in positions like that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I wanted to mention is that, um, you know, it's important to have a collaborative, you know, effort, um, not only between the board, but all stakeholders, teachers, parents and students, and I think I can bring that voice and I can bring that bridge to make sure those uh, different factions can, can be bridged. Uh, bueno, bueno este, ¿qué es lo que es? ¿Por qué estoy corriendo para la mesa directiva? Bueno, estoy corriendo para la mesa directiva porque parece, este, estadísticamente hablando, ¿verdad? Como muchos de los estudiantes de Santa Rosa, creo que yo vengo de, de un lugar que, que este, bueno, como dije, Estadísticamente hablando, no este, hubiera terminado la universidad, no hubiera terminado este, mi carrera. Y quiero que los estudiantes, especialmente los estudiantes inmigrantes, puedan verse reflejados en la mesa directiva o en, en, en posiciones las cuales este, hacen políticas educativas. Es muy importante ver esa reflexión, no solamente con tus maestros, pero con otras personas que, que tienen la oportunidad de hacer esas decisiones este, más grandes. Uh, otra cosa que quiero decir es que es muy importante la colaboración. 
y como este, presidente de, una, de un sindicato de maestros, yo creo que puedo traer la importancia de la comunicación, no solamente con la mesa directiva, pero sino con todos los diferentes grupos los cuales son parte del distrito, ya sean los estudiantes, los padres y los maestros. Y yo creo que puedo traer ese puente de comunicación entre todos esos diferentes grupos. Gracias, Rafa. Okay, gracias. And then, um, now the next question is for you. La siguiente pregunta es para ti, Ever. Um, and uh, from your point of view, the question is, from your point of view, what needs to change or improve within Santa Rosa City Schools in order for there to be equitable access to education and the right preparation for all students who choose to go directly to a university to do so upon graduation. Entonces, la pregunta en español es para ti, Ever, ¿qué es los cambios, cuáles son los cambios que necesitan uh, uh, suceder en el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa para que así haya equidad en la educación y todo o toda estudiante que se gradúa tenga la oportunidad de ir directamente a la universidad, si eso es lo que gusta. Ok, uh, I'm going to answer that in English first. So, uh, thank you for your question, Rafa. Um, one of the things I think it's important uh, is the students need to see that um, that their faculty reflects who they are. Uh, we need to do a better job at uh, retaining and recruiting uh, high qualified uh, instructors that also reflect the uh, vast diversity of a school district. Uh, we need to make sure that students see that. And we need to put in place uh, a systemic sort of scaffolding system to make sure we, we capture every single student who is excelling and those students who are not excelling that may need the extra scaffolding. Um, one of the things that I can tell you is that as a first generation college bound student, um, I was lucky enough to have the support of a pre-college program at USF, uh, the USF upward bound program where I received numerous amounts uh, or hours of tutorial services after school, Saturday classes, to make sure that you know I was you know college ready by the time I graduated high school, uh, and, and that is one of the things that I think uh, I think the entire board agrees with me with me on this one that we need extra support services for all students, uh, and and that's going to be a very interesting you know way of doing it because you have to balance you know those sort of services with a fiscally fiscally you know sound budget, so uh, and. Well, you know, it, that's pretty much it. And I think I used my two minutes. I'm going to translate now that into Spanish. Um, una de las cosas que creo que, eh, bueno, dos cosas que, que, que podemos mejorar en el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa, creo que es este, el reflejo de los maestros y los estudiantes. Es muy importante este, el reclutamiento y la retención de maestros que reflejan la población que, que enseñan, ¿verdad? para que no hayan problemas de equidad o equivocaciones por eh, problemas de, que no se entienden las diferentes culturas. Eh, es, y tenemos que hacer un esfuerzo, no solamente pasivamente, pero activamente de reclutar maestros, de reclutar personal docente que refleje todos los estudiantes del, de, del, del Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa. Y eso viene desde la mesa directiva. Es una de las prioridades que tiene que venir desde ahí arriba. Y, y eso es una de las cosas que no he escuchado de la mesa. Sí he escuchado que quieren implementar este, diferentes currículum, ¿verdad? Pero es muy importante que las personas que están dispensando ese currículum reflejen la población a las cuales ellos están enseñando. Y lo otro es apoyo, como este, andamios educativos. Andamios educativos es muy importante para, los, para que los estudiantes tengan ese apoyo para, para ver qué es lo que necesitan ellos y ellas para salir adelante. Y eso creo que fue una de las faltas del, del, de la mesa directiva. 
los cuales no implementaron esos andamios educativos para asegurarnos que todos los estudiantes se sintieran el apoyo para salir adelante. Gracias, Rafa. Gracias. Jenny, do you need me to repeat the question or do you get it? I think I got it. Okay. I think I got it. Thank Let you. Let me know when you're ready. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Okay. Um, you know, I think that the very first thing is that uh, is, is self-efficacy, is that students need to be able to see themselves um, as, as someone who, who could be a college graduate. Um, and, and we've shown, you know, research has shown time and time again that, that a lot of that is just expectations from adults and support from adults and oftentimes just connect connection with even a single adult uh, on the school staff, whether it's a coach or a teacher or a bus driver, a single connection that with someone who says, I believe in you and you can do this. And, and students who are, who, who are raised in college educated families, they see themselves in that way. But if you are not, then you need to get that somewhere else. And we've got this really troubling data um, from a youth truth survey that says that many, 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 in fact, the majority of our students don't feel like um, that their uh, teachers believe in them. Now, I don't think that this is, the, I think the teachers believe in them, um, but I think that there's a, there's a disconnect. And so to some extent, I think Ever's right. You know, we need to recruit more teachers who look like our students, that they need to be more reflective of our student body. And we're working on that. Um, we do a, a real major outreach to make sure that we're increasing, you know, increasing the diversity of our staff and also working on uh, developing teachers from our own student body, homegrown teachers. So, so that's one thing is that we need to really train teachers to connect with students, to, to, to do connection before content so that they uh, believe in themselves and see themselves there. And then the second thing is we need to be able to catch kids early um, in, in, uh, when, they're, uh, when they're struggling and then provide them the support that they need. Um, and to make sure that that is embedded um, in every single school. Um, and then the last thing, and it's something that we've already done, is to really make sure that there are no structural barriers. You know, we used to have a kind of a, a tracking system that was, in my mind, immoral and, and unjust and, and really was a barrier to students and particularly students of color. And we've eliminated that. And so that's good because we need to make sure that every student has the exact same opportunity structurally within our system. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Entonces, una vez más, la pregunta es cómo creamos equidad y cómo preparamos a los las estudiantes para que cuando se gradúen de la preparatoria estén listos, listas para la universidad. Y la señorita Jenny nos dice, la primera, primera cosa que tenemos que hacer es educar a estudiantes a que se sientan capaces. Dices, estudiantes deben de sentirse capaces de que pueden ir a un colegio o universidad. De vez en cuando vemos el mismo estudio y los mismos estudios nos dicen que es un estudiante, una estudiante va a sobresalir con tal de que una persona, un adulto, adulta podría ser un maestro, maestra, podría ser la persona que maneja el autobús, podría ser uh, un entrenador o entrenadora de la escuela, que les hagan un contacto, una conexión única con ese estudiante y que le diga que sí creen en ellos y ellas. Estos mismos estudios nos dicen que en familias donde los padres, madres de familia, les inculcan a sus hijos, sus hijas, la idea de que van a ir a un colegio o universidad, esos estudiantes sobresalen tenemos que cambiar, dice, porque acaba de ver un estudio que dice que la mayoría de nuestros estudiantes no creen que nosotros los educadores, educadoras, creemos en ellos, en ellas. Dice, yo pienso que eso no es necesariamente la realidad. Pienso que los maestros, maestras, sí creen que en los estudiantes, pero tenemos que trabajar más duro. Y dice, lo estamos haciendo ahorita para incrementar la diversidad de nuestro, uh, de los empleados, empleadas. Dice, Ever está correcto. Tenemos que incrementar el número de gente diversa en nuestras escuelas. Tenemos que educar a los maestros, maestras, que debe de haber una conexión antes de enseñarles a los, las estudiantes lo que tienen que aprender en la escuela. Y tenemos que asegurarnos de encontrar a los estudiantes mucho más uh, antes de que se metan en problemas o se salgan de las escuelas y proveerles el apoyo necesario para que puedan sobresalir. 
nos dimos cuenta que el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa tenía muchos problemas, uh, muchas barreras y, y en realidad dice, era una discriminación lo que estaba sucediendo, lo cual yo pensaba que era inmoral y que era injusto. Y ahora lo hemos eliminado y por eso pienso que podemos sobresalir. And so the next question is for you, Jenny. And this one actually is the only question that came in from a parent who actually made a trip this afternoon all the way to the station to make sure he was not going to leave unless I promised that I was going to ask this question. And he says, um, we as parents, English language learners who have English language learning children in Santa Rosa City Schools, we work for a long time to create this EL master plan and yet it hasn't been implemented. My question to you, he says, is how much longer before the EL master plan is implemented? Entonces, la pregunta que hizo un padre de familia que vino a la estación y me dijo, me hizo prometer que le iba yo a hacer la pregunta a la señorita a Jenny. Y esa es la única pregunta que vino del público. Y eso es, nosotros como padres y madres de familia participamos por mucho tiempo en crear el plan master para aprendices de inglés. ¿Por qué este plan no se ha implementado? ¿Y cuánto tiempo más va a pasar antes de que lo implemente? Whenever you are ready. Well, thank you. Well, first of all, um, I whoever asked that question, hats off to you for coming down to the station and um, and making sure that you were heard because I think that that is um, that's part of the answer. So I know that there is a lot of um, work on that EO master plan, and my understanding actually is that it is being implemented. That it is the beginning of it, right? It's a it's a, a long and detailed plan, and it is uh, rolled out in phases. Um, But my understanding is that it is being implemented. So, in, so this is actually news to me, and um, which which means that I've I've got to go get a better answer for you. Um, I I need a better answer, and so I'm going to just kind of pivot and, and and talk about something else, which is related to this, and that is that we really need people like this parent who has um, come down to to uh, make himself heard. Um, to come to board meetings and to uh, to show up to advocate for themselves and for their students and for each other. And I know it's hard. Um, it's hard when people are working, um, you know, a, a um, it, when, when we have working, uh, parents who are working a lot and parenting and particularly now in the pandemic when you're also helping your students. Um, but it's also a little bit easier to do public comment because you get to do it from home. Um, but We need to hear when we think something's not being implemented. My understanding is that it is, and so we would definitely, um, I definitely would look into that. My understanding is that we have um, designated ELD and, and academic language developers at, at each of our schools, um, and I do know that our English language um, uh, redesignation rate is higher than ever, um, significantly higher than ever, um, and so I think there's definitely some progress made. Is there room for improvement? I am positive that there's room for improvement. There always is. And um, we were way behind the times on this, to be, off, to, to be honest. And so, um, so there's always room for improvement. I thank you for your question and your comment. And I'm going to do some more looking into this. So thank you. Thank you. Entonces, esta pregunta, una vez más, fue específicamente para la uh, señorita Jenny. Y dice, y una vez más, el señor vino y hizo la pregunta. Entonces, eh, la respuesta es, uh, quiero agradecerle a ese padre o madre de familia que vino a la estación de KBBF para asegurarse que su pregunta fuera hecha, dice. Um, y que yo entienda, dice, esto es nueva información para mí, porque que yo entienda está... Um, el plan de aprendices de inglés está siendo implementado en estos momentos, dice, algunos de estos planes son un poco largos y entonces la implementación toma, va, se hace en pasos y toma tiempo, dice, pero que yo sepa ya están implementando este plan. Dice, en realidad parece que no tengo una mejor respuesta para usted y que tengo que regresar a, a, a escuchar 
y a preguntar para tener una mejor respuesta para usted. Entonces voy a contestar el siguiente tiempo de esta pregunta con algo relacionado, dice... Y eso es, que necesitamos más padres y madres de familia como usted o como este padre o madre quien vino, uh, eh, que vayan a las mesas directivas, a las juntas y dice, sabemos que es difícil. Sabemos que muchos padres, madres de familia están teniendo que trabajar mucho. De ahí regresan a casa y todavía tienen que asistir a sus hijos, sus hijas con la escuela, la tarea. Uh, pero... Lo único que les puedo decir aquí, dice, es que por ahora por lo menos pueden hacer sus comentarios por Zoom. Entonces, eh, y regresando a esto del programa, dice que yo entienda ya está una persona de, designada para que sea la representante de este proceso y que una vez más, la otra cosa que quiero que sepan es que por primera vez en mucho tiempo estamos uh, rediseñando o asegurándose de hacer los exámenes para asegurarse que los niños, niñas que ya saben suficientemente inglés pues se suban al siguiente nivel, dice eso es algo que estábamos muy atrasados, atrasadas anteriormente y el día de hoy, dice, puedo decirles que um, estamos ya uh, listos para implementar estos cambios. Um, and since the question was specifically uh, for um, Jenny, Ever, do you want to comment on the question or do you want me to uh, uh, move on to the next question? I'd just like to uh, comment briefly. I, I appreciate the fact that parents are getting involved uh, in, 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 the, in this democratic process. This is the first step, you know, coming to, you know, coming all the way to KBBF and, and making sure that, you know, that, you know, that their voice was heard. That's, that's I mean, kudos to you for doing that. Uh, board members and elected officials need to hear from their constituency. Uh, and, uh, and thank you, thank you for doing that. Uh, al papá que trajo esa pregunta, le solamente le quiero decir muchísimas gracias porque las mesas directivas tienen que estar al tanto de lo que ustedes necesitan, ¿verdad? Y le agradezco mucho que haya manejado hasta la dirección de KBBF para entregar esa pregunta porque las personas que, que corren para ser elegidas en estas posiciones tienen que estar al tanto este, con, con la gente que representan. Definitivamente. And again, we agree that we would finish around um, 6.45. I know some of you may still have to go to other meetings. So it's 6.41 according to, 6.42 according to my uh, clock. So here is where I really just wanted the community to get an introduction to both of you. And I would like to close by, again, uh, giving you the opportunity to do your two minute closing statement. And since we started with Ever at this moment, I would like to start with uh, Jen and then Ever will go next. So whenever you are ready, Jen. Thank you. Well, thank you again for having me. And I wanted to kind of expand on that, on the EL questions. I had a little chance to think about this more. I do know that a couple of other things that we're doing um, for our English language, language students is, um, is that we have a couple EL TOSAs as teacher on special assignment positions that are specifically to support classroom teachers. And we are working with teachers on, on specific trainings. Um, it's called GLAD and then also EL Excellence. And, and these are specific trainings about how to work with EL students. Um, and it's a long uh, process. I think it's a specific skill set to how to really do a good job with EL students as, as well as work with your EL students along with the rest of your classroom. So it's, it's a process and, um, and, I, and there's a lot of room for improvement, but I know we're really working on it. Um, and we're also making sure that while we're doing that, we also have kind of our eyes on the prize, which is, which is A through G completion for any, any student who wants it. Um, and that, that's part of the master plan. So, you know, I guess I'll close by saying, um, I, I'm really proud of my record um, on the school board. I'm proud of creating a, um, a, a, a lottery program for our, um, uh, for entrance to our uh, charter schools that um, doubled the diversity there and made it easier to enter. I'm proud of spearheading the movement for A through G to make sure that barriers to um, college uh, preparation and admission um, that, were, that were disproportionately prohibiting uh, Latino students from uh, entering college 
um, were changed and, and that we created new standards that will uh, really lift up those students. Um, I'm proud of our, our, restore, our work with restorative services that has reduced um, expulsions by 80% and suspensions by 50%. Um, I am, I'm, I'm proud of creating the Spanish English uh, Language Charter School, CCLA, uh, under my watch. And I'm proud of the work we've done. And I think we got a great team um, in a hard time. And I know that what is always at the center of our team right now, our governance team, is work is what is best for students and what is best to provide equitable access, equitable opportunity um, for all of our students. Um, and, and so that's work that I want to continue to do. And, uh, and, I, and I, I, I hope and that you'll give me a chance to, to continue to do this good work with this great team. I appreciate your consideration, your vote. And again, please come down to school board meetings and, and make your voice heard. Uh, we want to hear it, uh, parents and students. We don't hear enough from students. So come on down. I'd love to hear from you more. Thank you, Rafael, for the opportunity. Thank you. And to be fair, that took two minutes and 30 seconds. So ever you'll have those two minutes and 30 <laughs> seconds. Be fair. Uh, yeah, definitely, when, when you get your chance. Entonces, um, para terminar, le pedí a la señorita Jenny Close que nos diera unos momentos para um, comentar uh, o cerrar esta conversación. Y dice, quiero agradecer una vez más por que me invitaste a estar en este programa. Dice, quiero mencionar uh, que uh, acerca de esta información, dice que estamos hablando de el programa de inglés, aprendices de inglés, dice, uh, tenemos dos maestros, maestras que están ahorita trabajando especialmente en aprender y educar a otros maestros, maestras con programas como el programa GLAD. Dice, sabemos que es un proceso largo y están aprendiendo cómo hacer un trabajo mejor, pero una vez más, es un proceso y agradecemos que la gente tiene esta paciencia. También estamos trabajando y para darle la oportunidad a todo estudiante que quiera acabar los requisitos de A a G para graduarse e irse directamente a la universidad. Y dice, yo estoy muy orgullosa de mi récord en cómo he votado y lo que he empezado, incluyendo el programa de lotería para estudiantes, para incrementar el número de estudiantes que quieran ir a las escuelas charter. Dice, estoy muy orgullosa de que en esto del AAG ha quitado o eliminado algunas de las barreras que existían para que estudiantes latinos puedan entonces ir directamente a una universidad si eso es lo que quieren, ya que anteriormente había muchos obstáculos para hacer eso. Estoy muy orgullosa del de programa restaurativo, dice, el cual era un problema y ahora ya eliminado las suspensiones por hasta 50%, dice. Y estoy orgullosa también de lo que hemos hecho con la escuela uh, Charter César Chávez. Y dice, sabemos que estos tiempos son difíciles y que um, nuestro grupo que tenemos ahorita está haciendo lo mejor por los las estudiantes. Quiero continuar este trabajo. Apreciaría su consideración en... Uh, dejarme continuar este trabajo y dice, para uh, cerrar, quiero invitar a los padres, madres de familia que vengan a las mesas, a las juntas de la mesa directiva, pero especialmente los, las estudiantes. Los, las estudiantes no vienen suficientemente a la mesa directiva. Entonces, Ever, si pudieras darnos tu, um, tu último mensaje a la comunidad. Uh, your mic is muted, Ever. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yep. All right. I hope I'm not yelling because I feel like I'm yelling at the screen. No, you're good. Okay. So um, one of the things I'm most passionate about is um, helping at-risk students achieve the highest potential. Um, as a career public school counselor, it has been my life's work to help students, especially those who are highly at risk of dropping out of school. Uh, I believe this work starts early, uh, and I think I have that in common with um, Ms. Close here, with, early, with a robust and systemic approach to social emotional competency 
as a school counselor, I, I, I see that as, as a great need. In tandem with curriculum that honors and respects the contribution of all Americans, especially those forgotten by our, our educational system. Being able to provide transformative education through a curriculum that empowers students is critically uh, to critically examine the contributions for those that have been here before, it's, it's important. And, uh, and, and I believe that having the ability and, and someone who has gone through, um, through the trials and tribulation of, of, you know, of, of a war, uh, immigrating to this country, brings a, a very unique uh, view to the board. And, and I think it's important for the board to have that in order to represent, uh, to have a completely representative body of the um, of, of Santa Rosa City Schools. En español, les quiero decir que yo lucharé por la causa como un inmigrante, como una persona que aprendió, un, como un aprendizaje de inglés. I was an EO learner also, I came here as a teenager. Yo sé exactamente lo que sus estudiantes y, 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 los, y los estudiantes están pasando, sus hijos y los estudiantes están pasando por este momento. Language acquisition, it, it's, it's, it's very unique and in a tumultuous set of, you know, waters to thread. Eh, la adquisición del lenguaje bilingüe es muy importante y a la vez es, es algo dis, muy diferente. Yo creo que traigo la experiencia de un inmigrante que ha pasado por mucho de, de los que las familias y los estudiantes han pasado aquí en el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa. Y yo creo que es muy importante tener esa voz, tener la voz de un educador que ha, se ha dedicado toda su vida de adulto a ayudar a, a los estudiantes que están a riesgo de no graduarse. Y por favor, bueno, les pido que, que en noviembre Voten y, y voten uh, por mí. Espero escuchar muchos de ustedes. Eh, mi este, correo electrónico o mi, este, mi página es everflores.org y espero escuchar muchos de ustedes. Y Rafa y Jenny, les quiero dar mu muchas gracias por estar aquí y por tener esta oportunidad para hablar civilmente, ¿verdad? Este, acerca de los temas y las causas que nos están afectando a todos nosotros en el, en el, en el Distrito Escolar de Santa Rosa. Okay. And with that, I want to thank you both. I noticed my laptop is about to restart and I want to save this because we want to upload it to my Facebook pages. I want to thank you both for taking the time and being here. And I look forward to collaborating with uh, both of you in the future, whether you end up on the board or not. Quiero agradecerles a ambos, ambas de ustedes por estar aquí conmigo. Voy a tener que terminar aquí porque me doy cuenta que mi computadora va a apagarse y quiero guardar este video para subirlo a la web. And with that, I want to thank you both uh, for being here with me today. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you ever. Y ahí es, uh, terminamos esta, um, esta entrevista el día de hoy y quiero una vez